in the not very golden age of piracy. I was deep in my cups when the mutiny began. Even still, I'd split the pate of two with my cutlass before they'd torn it, dripping from my hands and thrown me in the hold. A week I'd been left there, with naught but the rats to stay my loneliness and starvation. It was there, amid the rented builds, I had my notion. A dread crew incapable of mutiny, of treachery, of anything beyond slacking their insatiable lust for blood. So with hope renewed, I made good my escape. And now, with the infernal wailings of my new shipmates filling the sails, we embark to find our fortune, and may terror fill any that cross our bow. 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 And what I created was a crew full of babies. Or chickens. Depends on which team you play. No, babies. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's actually two player. Just mouse and click. Thank you. Didn't notice they were babies. Oh no. That can also be a problem when you're doing art this small. When you're doing art that's like in the 16 by 16 range, context becomes extremely important. Because telling a person that this is what the object is and then showing it to, to them says, oh, yeah, it's that object, I get it. But it, sometimes you can give them an object and it's small and you just don't pick it up. Like, what is this? Like, um, for some reason, I don't know why, like the heart refresh icon in Symphony of the Night, I thought it was like kind of like a clown face. But what it actually is, is like an angel holding a heart. Completely different. This is two completely different things. But, yeah. Context. Context is important. When dealing with art this small. Also, this is a really good... This is a really good rundown. Not only do I think it's well written, but like it sets you up for it sets you up for something very different from what you actually get in a very very joyous way. Like it sets it sets up the joke. And I I almost, I almost wish that they didn't have this here. Like they didn't show you the game so that you could boot up the game and then get the joke. Of like, oh, he meant babies. Or chickens. That's the punchline. And I, I think that can be timings better for the joke. But it's also completely fair that if you don't show the game, people might not want to play it. It's like that's... It's kind of important to see what you're going to be playing. Though, though, counterpoint, this is Ludum Dare. Ludum Dare. Whatever. And people will just play things because they sound interesting. Not even seeing it. Like, if you were able to have a really good looking title screen, title, whatever here, that, I think that would be enough along with this really great description to generate interest and get people to want to come into it. Because, like, so for like a Steam page, you couldn't do this, but for but for this, I think you can get away with that. Like, not everyone will want to play it because they don't see the game. But here you can get away with that because people will play things 
just because this art looks okay, this was interesting, I'm interested, it's free anyway. No, always read. Always read. Did you not even read how to play? Click to select your babies. Click to select babies. Uh, click to select your babies and click again to move them around the ship. Load the cannons with cannonballs. Take aim at the enemy ship and let loose. <laughs> Didn't read anything. That's fair. I've done that, admittedly. Load the cannons with cannonballs. Uh, oh yeah, maximize the cover the coverage of your hits to sink the enemy ship. Make repairs in between rounds. Always be making repairs. I looked at the good wood texture and downloaded that. Okay. All right. Yeah. It is a good wood texture. Uh, let's pop this open. Uh, do I have... Yes. Okay. That's loud. What is it with Unity and... Do that. That's fine. What is it with Unity and making games sound loud? That's actually kind of not fine. I need some of those windows. Oh. Oh, it's capturing twice. Okay, hang on. That's kind of an issue. I see what's happening. I see it. I see it. There we go. Good enough. Good enough, that'll work. Um, let me... Uh, update things. I keep, because I have a very, uh, very automated system, I swear. Very clean, very easy to keep up with. Uh, unfortunately, this game title gets cut off because it's very long. Let's do that. Yeah. Good. And it crashed. Also good. Uh, let's not alt tap this time. This game's still a little loud, but whatever. Hopefully, it doesn't get too loud. I was deep in my cups when the mutiny began. Even still, I'd split the pate of two with my cutlass before they torn it, dripping from my hands, and thrown me in the hold. A week I'd been left down there with naught but the rats to stay my loneliness and starvation. It was there. Ah, no. Very professional stream, I guess. Starvation. It was there. The rancid bilge I had my notion. A dread crew, incapable of mutiny, of treachery, of anything beyond slaking their insatiable lust for blood. 
So, with hope renewed, I made good my escape. And now, with the infernal wailing of my new shipmates filling the sails, we embark to find our fortune, and may terror fill any that cross our bow. No, oh, Tortuga Orphanage. Uh, yeah, so I have the I have a game capture set up, and I also have my monitor capture running. Which is why it's technically Grab your captured twice. and hoist your rattles, you fell and fearsome toddlers of the sea. Baby sounds. For my crawling army of slobbering sea dogs. Oh, okay. I guess it's random if you get a line or a. like a plus. Your ragtag band of seafaring toddlers are no match for my poultry princes of the deep. On your legs and breasts. Give no attack the noise. So why obviously? Far be it from a pirate to use nasty language with children around. So there's a bug where if a second baby enters Oh that was cool scoundrels I hope you're all feeling lucky today So if a second baby enters like Prox craven baby buccaneers it just go was that a three boot? Today, it is we who shall feast on your legs and breasts. In an altogether non sexual way, obviously. You fearsome, toothless coves. 
batten down the hatches, lads, and prepare for a nautical egging. So, like, I wish... I wish you could, like, trace a path so that you're able to, like, pick up as many, uh, spots as you can. I'm beginning to think this might have been a rubbish on here. Yeah. I think it gets harder than that. Uh, I can me... fear before my crawl. Let me exit that. What is it with Unity and making games loud? Or maybe it's just because I turned my audio up a little bit on my end. Because, like, Noid does that too. Okay. I was deep in my end. A week I'd been left and starving. Okay, that's cool. Ocean beyond the blue. Oprah's wheeling of the structure. That's cool that they actually sync the uh, my audio up. The army of the slaughtering scroll. sea dogs. Okay, so I wish you could do like a path thing and have them like trace a path instead of just auto select where you should be turning. Sometimes it's much, it's a lot better to go in a specific route to something, like go this way instead of that way. It's longer, but... What skullduggery is this? A crew of infant scoundrels! I hope you're all feeling... clapped today! Maybe it is actually picking the path of least resistance. No, it's not. I hope you're all feeling clucky today. I also kind of wish... I kind of wish that, like, hitting uh, your enemy units, like, stun them for a bit. Even if it happened to you, too. <laughs> like, that gives an extra layer to it. They already have a graphic for when they've been hit. So like the graphics already there, it's just the programming. Go to Baby Jones locker with ye. Baby Jones Locker. Basty baby wrangling fool. Hey, man, let's bounce. I don't know. It's... It's weird, because you would think... There wouldn't be a terrible amount of thought going into balancing. Just because of the time limit. Honestly, the imbalance comes when you realize that attacking is far more effective than repairing. Give him a 
hell I do? I, I mean, heck. Give him heck. Your ragtag band of seafaring toddlers are no match for my poultry princes of the deep. So, like, what it needs... I guess I can stop here, because it doesn't actually get any more difficult. What it needs is... First of all, there's a bug with, like, overlaying, um... Commands. Like, when a, um... When, like, two babies can be repairing a board, or when, um, a baby with a cannonball enters the... The cannon, you get a, an attack proc, but then if another enters before you fire, then it just chews your attack and replaces it with the other one. That's kind of an issue. Um, adding a bit more... Um, tactics gameplay to like where you actually launch would be good. Which like I said, just have like, have like an effect on um, like have an effect when a unit gets shot or when a unit is on a square that gets damaged. Also, pathing is a thing. Pathing is kind of important when you have to work on a grid like this. Uh, so far, there's only. There we go. Yeah, see, so it ate it. So far, the only beneficial bug I've found so far is like you can uh, tell a baby to go past the rocket or past the cannon to another cannonball while you have a cannonball and so you go in fire and then you like while you're firing the baby actually continues to go get the continues to get the next cannonball Yeah, like that. So you can actually go one square past where the cannon is. That's advantageous, actually. I'll do it here. Uh, maybe... Maybe add more management? Like add a third baby? Maybe a third? I think once you get to three is when you get to the point where like it's a bit too hectic to keep up with everything. I don't know if they actually tested three, but three seems like it might be the sweet spot of like, this is really difficult to manage, but not impossible. I mean, heck. Give him heck. Today, it is we who shall feast on your legs and breasts. In an altogether non-sexual way, obviously. Um, you also can't issue commands to a baby while they're... Um, when a cannonball is in the cannon. I think I would like it more if like when when a cannonball is loaded that you then you're able to go over here and interact with the other ship, but you still have full control of your own. Splinter their deck asunder, you craven baby buccaneers. Your ragtag band of seafaring toddlers are no match for my poultry princes of the deep.
I sunk six. I think that's my high score. Yeah. So, like, it looks good. It plays well. Like, it's... It's probably... The most polished... Game? Mm, I don't know. So, Smoke was actually pretty polished, but it also didn't do too much. Didn't do too much that was weird. Um, well, no, that's not true. This game's way more polished because it has writing and, like, incredibly good art and also uh, voice acting that's top tier. So, like, well, sure, but, it, and, like, also, it's also more polished because it's a bigger team is a thing that needs to, you need to realize, but it still is more polished, I feel, for several reasons. They are out, uh, so are they? So the weird thing, w because the thing is, is that there's no, that there isn't a, uh, um, it's like, I would think that if, if it was like an established studio, they would link that as a Twitter account. But, like, yeah, it could also just be like Power Hoof members just doing the jam together, not as Power Hoof, but just as a group of people. So, kind of unofficially, it's a studio job. Oh, ooh! It uh, Twitch chat does weird things when I go over a link. Yep. Okay. Watching from the shadows of the Discord channel. Dave and Barney making video games, which is, I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of weird things going on that make it hard for me to understand your conclusion. Because it, it doesn't, this doesn't mean that it's strictly two people making the game. Yeah, but cool, cool. All right, bread. Uh, yeah. So graphics are top tier. Audio is actually top tier. It's loud though. No problem. Um. I'll pro I might be back tomorrow. I don't know. I kind of want to I kind of want to get back to like actually playing games because it's been like a week or something bef since I've actually just sat down and played a game. I've been utterly exhausted recently. Um I guess not a whole week, but it's been a while. I also just I also feel bad I haven't been streaming much because I got affiliate and I feel like I should be streaming now, like, more than before, but, oh well. I guess I got this far by just doing what I'm doing. Yeah, anyway. Night. Uh, humor's top tier. Like, top, 
top of the line tier. Like, l like, oof. That punchline. Actually, now that I think about it, since they included this writing in the game with voiceover, with that backsplash, a part of me definitely feels like like Brett O'Top had the right idea of just don't read anything, don't look at it, just open the game and play it. Because like before I just assumed it only existed here and like so you just read this, alright, then you go play the game and oh, it's babies. But the game includes this and not only does the game include this but it has it has a whole like scene dedicated to it that's uh really well done um and it continues like not only not only do you get that in just the opening scene but it's pushed through into the game itself where you get the same voice actor as the same character with your ship commenting on everything that you're doing and like bantering with the other the enemy pirate ship that's also basically just him but with chickens um, so that's good and consistent I, um, I wish there were more voice lines, but, like, I think that's the pro- I think that's where the problem in this game lies, is that, again, it's a time thing, where, like, I'm sure if they had time, they would have pushed it further. That's always the case. But, again, the reason we do these is because we don't have time. Um, so what I kind of wish, maybe if they had relegated less time to polish and a little bit more, like, less time on graphical polish or whatever, and I don't know who's responsible for all of this, so this may be completely unfeasible, but if there had been some more time dedicated to gameplay, because, like, the one bug where it just eats your cannon, like, eats your cannonball is fine. Bugs are whatever. Uh, but just a little bit more, just a little bit more tactics gameplay. Like, just be able to stun your opponent or be stunned. Just, um... just being able to path your babies better on your way to a cannonball because you can you can totally micromanage a baby to like go here and then go here and then go there and you can do that that's fine but you're it's really hectic and you want to be able to do a lot of different things at the same time so instead of doing three clicks or four clicks to get around and do this all these repairs and get back with the cannonball just just track the tiles of like where the mouse is going because that's what I kept trying to do and that's what I really wanted to do I think that alone is a great improvement um, maybe a third baby maybe Two is already extremely hard to manage, but maybe what you would do is you would do three babies and two cannons, and then you have then you have more opportunities to get cannonballs to cannons that are closer, and all this other stuff, and you get it gets just that bit more hectic, and I I I've, I don't know if they tried this. I wish, but I wish they could, or wish they did. I hope they did, because I, I, I have this 
instinct that like three babies, maybe a second cannon is kind of that sweet spot. Um, obviously, if you're going to push this game past this and you want to like bloat it, you can, you can bloat it with like friggin' um, a loot system and like money and buying upgrades and you know what have you to like just add content. And that'd be all. That'd be great and all. Um. But yeah. It it's this. It's one of those things where like. So far, I would say the most complete game of the four I've played tonight. The most complete is either. Um, kind of between we have work to do and smoke because I think those games both of those knew what they were trying to do and they did it in this very self-contained way like they were complete then you get to a flesh pit which just wasn't complete at all it was a cool concept. I'm sure it was a nice exercise for Frankie, but it, it wasn't complete. And then you have this, which is kind of a proof of concept. Like, it's very well polished, it's very well done, but it also just feels incomplete. Like, like many, many Ludumdare games do. Like, just point at a Ludum Dare game, that game is incomplete. It's just not complete. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's get back to ratings. Um, so thematic, theme-wise, it I see what they're trying to do, but it doesn't really follow through. So, like, the idea is... I thought the idea originally, because the theme was, like, once a square is destroyed, you can't walk on it anymore. And that can cut you off from, like, cannonballs or something, and makes it difficult to get around places. That could have been cool. But, um... The system, I imagine the system just couldn't handle it. Like, this grid size can't handle it. And, like, what do you do if they shoot the cannon? What do you do if they, like, actually just cut everything off? Like, I get it. I get it. But it, it ended up resulting in not following the theme. Because you're not running out of space. You have this much space, and you always have this much space. It's just here. There's no real lack of space. So, the theme, the theme is where they drop the ball. Um, it's fun for a little while. It's really hectic. Um, it's fun for, it is just fun for a little while, because after, eventually you realize that after the first ship, where you just have one baby, and you get to two, after a while you just realize that the second, like everything after the first ship is just, that's just it. You've, you've seen everything then. And... So there's a kind of lack of content, which is, again, you know, Ludum Dare. You're going to have a lack of a lot of things. Um, so it's, it's good for however long I played it. Maybe not quite as long. What was that like? Actually, it may have been like 20, 30 minutes. 
actually probably not quite as long as I played it because I actually purposefully replayed it just to point things out. Um, innovation is is going to be the weird category for this game because it's it doesn't do many things that's terribly new outside of the the writing is interesting. Um, but then I then I think of like what exactly does this fall under and it's uh, not exceptionally clear to me like my library of genres just isn't there because I can't say this is our an RTS game I guess it is but it's not nearly as strategic as it could be Um, it's, so like, yeah, the innovation comes in, comes in the writing and the, the context and the, like the coat of paint it got is really cool and kind of new and refreshing or whatever, but the gameplay isn't terribly interesting so whatever good game uh go play it do uh oh caps works i don't know why my caps lock is on uh yeah Uh, what are other people saying? Everything was awesome. I encountered no bugs as well. No bugs. Or suggest anything so that it wasn't just a useless, so that this wasn't useless praise. I'd be change the overall game progression. Okay. It's expecting more stuff for different enemies to appear later on, though admittedly can't be sure. Uh, for example, a collectible making up a stronger weapon creating a risk rewards uh, situation. You have to collect two pieces to shoot them with a much bigger area of coverage, but you waste time. That's that's a good point. It's just adding to uh, Add to the pool of like drops or loot. You could actually do like, yeah, I guess that's probably the easiest thing outside of the pathing system is just um, like, okay, what if, what if you put. Mm. Well, I was thinking, what if you put, like, explosive barrels on it, and if you hit them, they explode and hit the, destroy the box near them, but then it would just be too easy, because they don't move, it'd be too easy to just shoot them immediately as the first thing, and then go from there as free damage, and I guess that's not, not actually great. Um, you could do... So like he was saying, a super cannonball, um, maybe like a uh, like a repair hammer. So like you repair faster, but maybe you can only you can't carry anything else because you have the hammer. It's so like you repair faster for a little while, but you can't carry cannonballs. I don't know. Uh, I was hoping the chickens would be stunned when I bombed them, or knocked around by the balls. Ooh, there's a there's a bit of 
strategy you could do. What if you could uh, blow up your enemy's cannonballs so that it, or like it destroys the cannonballs, so they have to move somewhere else to get a different cannonball spawn? Or, at the very least, when you blow up a block with a cannonball, it moves it to a different block, like, um, like in a cardinal direction. Like you blow this up and the cannonball move jumps over here or something. So it's like not, if that were the case, it's not a massive redirect on your part. Because if you're already hitting up here anyway, then it's just an extra click. But it is a bit of, it does add like interest. It would probably be better to just outright destroy the ball and immediately spawn a new one in a random location. Oh yeah, I guess I guess that's kind of where the theme comes in with running out of space because when the more things that are damaged, the because they have to repair a block that they're on, it cuts down on the effective space or like the the actual movable space that they are allowed to move in, and slows them down for cannonballs, which is kind of where the tug and pull is on this game of just once you start taking damage it you have to fix it quickly like it it gets much easier to take more damage because you're moving slower to get more cannonballs Yeah, good game.